Hi, it's Erin, and welcome to this week's edition of Stock Photography Talk. Um, how's everybody doing? A little bit of a background, if this is the first time that you're on my channel. I have been doing stock photography since 2007. Um, not all in, not serious, completely serious um, until a few years after that when I started to see things pick up and then made a little bit of extra income, which was awesome. And now I have kind of made a commitment to myself to to go all in with this for a while and see what happens. So I have been submitting a lot of assets, um, images, both creative and editorial, as well as video footage. I've been playing around with AI and submitting some of that. So we will see what will happen long term since I've actually been putting a lot of work into this. And let's see if it pays off. I will keep you um, in the loop every step of the way. Uh, maybe this is something that you've considered doing. Maybe you're wondering, is it worth it, especially in 2024? Only you can decide is, is only you can decide if it's worth it for you. For me, every little extra revenue source added together makes a difference. So let's see what we can do with this. Now, if you like stock photography and you're interested in learning more, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel and then you will be notified when I release new content. Right now I'm trying to release a new video every week talking about stock photography. So if you have any questions or any ideas for any content, drop it down below. And I'll, oh, as always, I'll do my best to answer your questions. If I don't know the answer, I will say that I don't know. So what is going on since last week with stock photography with me? Well, I kind of think that maybe the what's called the summer slump is starting to end. And if you don't know what that is and you don't follow other stock photographers, basically that's the period in the summer where like your sales drop off and you just don't do as well as you do the rest of the year. Um, I feel like my sales are starting to pick up. Um, it could be because the summer slump is coming to, to an end. People are going back to work now. Designers are going back to work. They're also starting to design their, um, their stuff for the holidays that are coming up. So I am also seeing an increase in Halloween images. I'm seeing an increase in uh, items and assets that can be used to create Halloween designs. So spooky backgrounds, grungy type things, stuff like that. So that could be another reason why I'm, why I'm seeing sales pick up slightly. Um, another reason could be that I'm also submitting a lot. So some agencies, as you submit, they do prioritize new content in their searches. So that could also be bringing me more sales from some new content, but also because that new content brings attention to the rest of my portfolio in the form of similar images. And people can also click, you know, on my name and see the rest of my work and all of that. So there's a variety of reasons or various reasons that could be factoring into why my sales are starting to go up a little bit. Between last month and this month, I, it, now it's not, it is the end of August, but we still have a day and a half left to get some more sales. I am already ahead by, and this is going to be not, well, a whole whopping 99 cents. But my point being is that I am ahead of my July already and Getty or iStock images have not been accounted for yet. That'll come in the middle of September. So the fact that I'm already even just a little bit ahead of where I was in July with my total is really good. The fact that I am selling new images that I've put, put into my portfolio since July is good. These things all indicate that it's headed in the right direction. So keep that in mind as you're doing this. If you're selling um, the new images that you're putting in, that's good. Another thing that I have noticed with putting more work into this, and, and I'm guessing that this might be why, is that I'm also selling old images that have never sold before. I use an app called MicroStalker to track my sales, and I'm going to bring that up now. And this just gives me an idea of like what's selling, um, you know, my most popular images, like what my, my best um, agencies are that I'm working with. So this is MicroStalker here. And as you can see, this graph in front of us here, um, I hope you can see that. I'm not sure how clear it comes up on your screen. But this is showing you my income for August, okay? And as you can see, my total earnings across all agencies right now is $144.89. Like I said, we still have the rest of today and tomorrow in August 
and my eye stock images are not calculated in yet. So we can see that I'm at 144.89. And if you go back to July, even with the Getty or eye stock images factored in, I was at 143.90. So to me, that's good. You might be looking at this and saying that is not a lot of money, but keep in mind that once these photos are up there, everything's kind of on autopilot. So if I just sat back and I didn't do this for a while, um, you know, I would still have at least a certain amount of income coming in. And then all I would have to do is for the sites that don't, or for the agencies that don't automatically pay you when, once you reach a certain threshold, I would just have to go in and request payment on the agencies that don't do it automatically. So to me, oops, I almost knocked over my drink. To me, that's a win. Okay. In that respect, it's passive income, even though I've done a lot of work, you know, up to leading up to that, when you can just sit back and still continue to see revenue coming in, yeah, I call that a win. So let's look at some of the um, things that are selling now that we're at the end of summer. I have spoken about the fact that Halloween images and stuff that can be used in like Halloween type designs has picked up. So let's see, where are we here? So I've been selling, you can see a lot of these um these like fog type images that I have. And my only guess is that, okay, those are spooky. They can be used in Halloween designs and things like that. So that makes sense that I'm selling a lot of them. Uh, also, there was a couple others, you know, my little like moldy melted sad jack-o-lantern every year, like I'll sell these around Halloween time. So once I see these types of images start to sell, I'm like, okay, we're in that season. And I do believe that I saw some Christmas stuff? Yes, I did. I did see some Christmas stuff pop up. These doors, I took these photos years back in like 2016, 2017. They always do really well around this time of year. I have a bunch of them with the wreaths on them and they just continue to sell year after year, which is awesome. So people are already apparently starting their Christmas projects as well. So this is when you get into, if you have a lot of these images in your portfolio, you can do rather well this time of year. Another thing that I'm seeing pick up, um, I've sold a couple of my baseball and my softball images. Now, is that because, let's see, we just had the Little League World Series. Is that over? I'm not sure. We have, you know, fall ball starting for baseball and softball as kids go back to school. We also have um, the World Series that comes up at, at some point soon, right? I don't really follow all this that well. So you can laugh at me if I'm like completely wrong, but I think that's coming up. But, you know, things like that. So whatever stuff is like coming up this month or in the next couple of months, you will start to hopefully see the, the sales and the downloads of those images pick up. Um, so like I said, a lot of these, these backgrounds, these kind of grungy, spooky backgrounds that I have a lot of sell well. This one, um, downloaded 180 times since I put it up in 2021. And just that image alone made over $148. So you can see how if you have enough images that sell well and are downloaded often, um, you know, multiply that by however many you have that do well. <laughs> okay. You know, like I've said before, there's no guarantee that you're going to sell things when you do stock photography, but every once in a while, something that you put in there may like hit it big, so to speak, and be something that becomes very popular and gets downloaded a lot. So that's one of the awesome things about this. And any stock photographer will tell you it's usually an image that you don't expect to do well that does that. Now, these are, are pretty generic, pretty cool looking, in my opinion, backgrounds. Um, you know, so I can't say that I didn't expect that they, they would sell well, but sometimes it's like something completely random and you're like, why does somebody even need that? That's why you you put out there whatever you have. Upload whatever you have into the correct category and see, because you just do not know what people need. Another thing that's been selling, because, hey, we're going to football season, right? I have a lot of photos of... Um, here in New Jersey, the um, football stadiums at both Rutgers University and Princeton University. Of course, they're editorial images because, um, you know, they cannot be sold for commercial reasons because there are rules as far as those properties. Okay. But those sales are also 
picking up. So these are just random images that I took at one point when I went off season to Rutgers. Same thing with ones that I have of Princeton, of the stadium there. Of uh, Is it Tiger Stadium? I forget. I think it's called something else now. But same thing because football season's coming up, Halloween's coming up, Christmas in the next couple of months. These are the types of images that you're going to start to see sell. So all in all, kind of looking up, like I said, I'm not sure of the exact reason why. Is it the summer slump? Is it because I'm feeding the beast and I'm adding a lot of assets to my portfolio? Or is it just because I tend to have a lot of seasonal images that are in demand right now? I don't know. I have now added, I think the count today in the, I'm keeping a spreadsheet of everything that I'm adding and since July 15th, I am now up to 1,298 images added. So I've really been um, hustling <laughs> with this, this last um, month and a half or so. So let's see what happens. One thing that I also started doing, and let me get out of this for a second. I have found and been using a new AI keywording tool. Now, I had just kind of stumbled across uh, the idea that these apps were out there. And I thought, well, let me just see. You know, I tried a couple free trials for a couple different ones. And um, the one that I ended up liking, I, I just liked, I thought that it was like easy to use. And um, right here on my Mac, I'm using it. So let me pull up the one that I'm actually using now. Okay, so after doing a couple trials, I decided that I was going to buy some credits to work with this one particular um, app. And this is called um, Phototag AI. Um, you'll see, I just have their pricing up here. Uh, it's a, you do it by credit. So for instance, I got this first package. Um, I did their trial, which was 10 um, images. And I really kind of like thought this is this is a useful thing. This is going to save me a lot of time. So then I went and I um, purchased this 1500 upload credit um, plan. And the credits don't expire. So it's not like a monthly subscription where you're going to keep being charged. You just get it as you need it. And also, if you see up here, they have this keyword 50. Use keyword 50 as your um, coupon code. You get 50% off any purchase. So I ended up getting 1,500 upload credits for just $14, which I thought was really good. Now, one cool thing about this, you'll see 1,500, and you think, okay, so I can keyword 1,500 images. But let me tell you what I do, and I'm sure that other people probably do the same thing. So you have a series of images. Let's say that I take a series of... Um, a subject and I have 10 different images, well, I'm only going to upload one to, to this app to keyword title and um, describe because the rest are either very similar and can use those same exact keywords, titles, and descriptions, or I can just kind of tweak them as need be if something's slightly different between the photos. So really those 1,500 upload credits can last you a lot longer. Like I've been using it for several days now. And I think I have, um, I've only used like 40 something maybe of them with uploading like, my gosh, like two, 300 images, something like that. So that's pretty cool. So I'd say that's a win. Um, if it's something you're interested in trying out, try their free, there's a link in the description below. Click that try their free one. And then, hey, if you decide that you like it and you want to do one of these um, credit, credit plans, you can use that keyword 50 for 50% 50 off and give it a go and see if you like it. One thing I will say is that it does throw up a lot of keywords. So for instance, I had some images declined for, I think it was dreams time because I just, you, I copied and pasted what they gave me and some of the stuff wasn't, um, they considered it like, I forget what they call it when you have like keywords that aren't, um, that don't describe your image. I'm like drawing a blank here, but you know what I mean? Like they don't, they want you to use very specific keywords, not like random stuff that has nothing to do with the image. So although the keywords were related to the image, it was like too far out there for them to accept. So you do kind of have to look at them, see what keywords they're coming up with and that sort of thing. But I really think that this is going to be a great time saver for me. So for me, um, it's worth it at this point. I will see as we go along, like how the images sell now that they're described and, um, 
you know, titled using this program. We'll see. But just something else that I am trying out now. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, as always, if anybody has any questions or comments, leave them down below. Please like and subscribe so I can keep this channel um, going and growing. And um, I will be back hopefully again next Friday. And then, of course, I will be back to share what my August earnings are once I get through the last day and a half of this month and also get the um, income information from iStock. So everybody enjoy the rest of your day. If you're actually watching this on Friday, enjoy your weekend and I will talk to you next time. Bye.